Hey, it's Megan from Contigo, and welcome to our special post-Acumatica Summit Tip Tuesday video. Acumatica Summit 2023 occurred January 29th to February 3rd in Las Vegas, and as part of the keynote presentations, many new and improved features were announced as part of their 2023 R1 release coming out later this year. I'm joined today with our president, Kevin Esau. Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience at Summit? Sure. I had the chance to go down to Vegas and am excited about the connections we made with other partners, third-party ISVs, Acumatica staff, and customers. Some of the highlights were that over 10,000 businesses around the world are now using Acumatica as their ERP. Acumatica released their updated Customer Bill of Rights, highlighting their commitment to straightforward pricing and unlimited users, flexibility around deployments, customizations, and integrations. Acumatica continues to support Canadian customers through their Canadian localizations, allowing for quick setup of Canadian taxes and allowing bilingual companies to use both English and French natively in their systems. While not announced at their keynote sessions, Acumatica Canadian Payroll is releasing as part of Acumatica 2023 R1 in April. This is a big step forward for Canadian customers and allowing companies to slim down their technology stack to bring more of their business critical processes into their core Acumatica product. One new feature that was announced in the day two keynote was the ability to delegate and reassign approval of documents. This has been a much requested idea on the Acumatica Community Idea Board and I had the chance to sit in on a discovery call last year for this new feature. Historically, it was very manual to manage approvals while employees were on vacation or leave and it was easy to delegate up the ladder but nearly impossible to delegate down. Now with just a few clicks, you can easily reassign your documents to a coworker for a set period or even reassign just one or two documents. I'm really excited to see how this will streamline operations for our Acumatica customers. Acumatica has always been flexible and customizable. They continue to make it easier to customize your screens and in Acumatica 2023, one of the new features that was demonstrated was the ability uh, for users to add or hide fields in the document header and quickly add new customized fields with low code, no code solutions. For companies with operations in multiple countries, historically you needed different environments for each currency. Over the past few releases and continuing into 2023, Acumatica continues to add functionality in additional modules around the multiple base currencies in a single tenant feature. This is great news for companies with offices in two or more countries with different currencies to allow for everything to be in one tenant to allow for additional simplification of financial reporting and efficiencies around shared customers, vendors, inventory, and more. To watch the keynote sessions from 2023, visit summit.acumatica.com. And keep an eye on our channel and subscribe as we'll be covering these new features in more depth over the coming weeks. To participate in the Acumatica community and see what ideas other customers are suggesting, you can visit community.acumatica.com. We'd love for you to join us next year at the Acumatica Summit 2024, which will be at the Wynn Las Vegas, January 28th to 31st, 2024. As always, for more information, visit contigogroup.ca slash Acumatica.